So there's a very nice module that we use quite often in introductory computer science courses and that module is called Sea Turtle. And Sea Turtle allows us to create a turtle object which is a very nice graphical drawing object for uh, introductory computer science students to make use of the object-oriented programming paradigm. And so we would like to be able to use this Sea Turtle module. The problem is that if I go to Python, open up the idle application, go, go to the shell, if I try to import Sea Turtle, I get an error because Sea Turtle is not part of the standard Python modules. And so what that means is I have to go out to the website where Sea Turtle is stored and I have to get a copy of the Sea Turtle module and then install it someplace so that everybody using Python can find it. And so that's what we want to talk about today, how to get a module and put it someplace so that we can use it. So I'm going to go out to the web browser here, go out to Firefox, and I happen to know that the Sea Turtle module is easily found on a website called pythonworks.org. Now pythonworks.org is actually a website that we maintain that has resources for different Python textbooks and other kinds of course packages that we maintain here at Luther College. And the particular textbook, uh, introductory textbook that uses the Sea Turtle module is this uh, textbook called Python Programming in Context. And so I'm going to click on the resources for Python Programming in Context. And if I scroll down, I find textbook resources for version 3.0, and that also would include 3.1. And you can see uh, some updates, but here in particular, uh, C Turtle, and there's also a module called C Image that we use. We're going to show C Turtle, C Image would be exactly the same. So the first thing I need to do is download this C Turtle module, and all a module really is is a Python file. And so, depending upon how your browser is set up, when you click on this, it should actually download and so you can see that's what my browser did it downloaded the cturtle.py file now it might be the case that your browser doesn't download when you click on it it might actually open the file if that's the case go back and try something else perhaps right click and you'll see an entry that says save file as or some other keystroke might allow you to uh, get a download you just want to download and save that file as cturtle.py. Once I've got that file downloaded, all I have to do is put it someplace in the Python environment so that everybody can gain access to it. Well, the first thing I have to figure out is where did that file end up? So I'm going to open up a explorer window here, which will let me take a look at the different folders that I have and you can see one of the folders is called downloads and that's the one that I've set Firefox to automatically use so if I click on that you can see here there is the sea turtle module that we just downloaded now where do we have to put this well let's open up another explorer window and this time I'm going to open up an explorer window for the whole computer and I'm going to go to the C drive and double click on that and you can see that on the C drive, in, on this particular machine, there is a folder called Program Files, and there are some different versions of Python, because I've got version 2.5, version 3.0, version 3.1, here are all the users, and so on. Well, we're going to be talking about Python 3.1, so we're going to want to go into the Python 3.1 environment, so I'm going to double-click on that, and what I will discover is that there is a directory called lib, L-I-B. That directory stands for library. And it's the library where we want to actually end up installing this module. If I double click on L-I-B, you'll see all kinds of folders that represent different libraries that are available. The one that we're very much interested in is the one called site packages. Site packages means these are the modules that you are providing to the Python environment that will now be available for everybody to use. And so when I double click on site packages, in this case there's nothing in there because I've never put anything in there. In some cases there may be many, many, many modules that have already been placed in 
this site packages directory. So now this is very easy. All I need to do is take this sea turtle module from this downloads folder and simply drag it over here into the site packages. Once I've done that, the sea turtle module is now available inside of the Python environment. So now, if I go back and start the Python environment, Python 3.1, and we'll start up idle. Now when I say import C turtle, I don't get any errors because now C turtle is available. And that means that now I can use the C turtle module and that's the topic for another lesson.